Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Stellaris console edition video. The galaxy is in turmoil. Not really. It's kind of, uh, nothing's really happening right now. I think it's going to be in turmoil before too long though, because these guys were friendly and I think relations are kind of breaking down between these guys. So we'll see uh, what happens there. These guys are still in a federation, so I think they're going to have the advantage if these guys start to fight. But these guys may start something on their own because they seem to be the most uh, aggressive out of everybody. So let's see what happens here. I don't know what's going to happen. We're in the year 2255. We're from what I've read, uh, the in-game crisis should start around the year 2400. So I'm letting the clock run as fast as it will go. And uh, we'll see what happens. Let's see, all these buildings are empty, which is not good. I don't like that. I'm going to I'm going to lose some unity here for a while, but I'm going to put a population there. And same story here. What else can I do? Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, the energy grid. I can upgrade that to an energy nexus. That will increase our energy credits. Uh, again, I will do that. That's a great idea. Otherwise, I guess I'll just leave things the way they are. been a while since I got some research finished so maybe we'll get some research uh, in this video I don't think I got any research in the entire last video I need somebody here huh what's this the Veril Viv Serene Kingdom has offered a trade deal to us well, look at that active sensor link Various circumstances beyond our control have left us no choice but to come to you with this generous trade proposal. This chance may never come again. I don't know why that's a generous trade proposal exactly, but I'm going to go for it. I need these people down here, both of these, to be my friend. Uh, the Veril Viv, these are the guys that just proposed that trade. But, um, yeah, I'm stuck over here. I'm surrounded almost surrounded by Kadeshi and then my former Federation friends are right here they're not doing well either but they at least they have more space than I do construction complete okay good 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 well we got a lot a lot of energy going on now so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this mining network and this mining network that's good that's good look at this we've got on our planet we've got Tial on our planet and these guys are from the boss Pactux civilization we had a uh, a migration treaty so we've actually we've got a nice mix of uh, species going on here what else can I build um, oh yeah we're looks yeah, we're positive on our food again that's good mineral silo Should I go ahead and upgrade that? Sure, why not? Got 
plenty of food. I don't necessarily need to upgrade any of that stuff. I could build... Well, there's no population to put down here. I could build another mine or a visitor center. It produces power and unity. That's interesting. But I'll lose out on two potential food and one mineral. So I guess I might be, if I was, if I was gonna build that somewhere, I guess it would be best to put it here and I would only lose one food. Yeah, let's do that. Produces two power and two unity. Although we don't have anybody to put on this <laughs> tile, so that's going to be a waste for now, but it's not like I've ever made a bad decision before. Twenty three fifty seven, the year twenty three fifty seven. Captain's log. Not much happening. Building a few things on our planet. The people should be generally happy, though, I think, uh, because of this. And we're already up to a thousand unity again. Look at that. And that's without even these things functioning. So that'll be good when those get going. What's this? A mineral silo? I can make a mineral silo three. Look at that. Yeah, why not? Whatever. That would have been better to put probably like right, well, I, but I want all the science I can get. This is not a bad planet. It's not the biggest planet you can find, but it's not a, not a small planet exactly. We don't have much unrest happening. Everybody's pretty happy. Active buildings, yeah, I know. There's the visitor center. Just have to wait for my population to grow, I guess. Although I guess I could, let's see. Could put these guys here, these guys here. complete very good very good I really like this game I uh, they're bringing three DLCs so far uh, they've already brought one of them the, the plantoid species pack um, and then utopia is coming and what's the other one Oh, Leviathans, I think, is the next one that's coming out of those three. And then Utopia. But there are a bunch more on PC, and I'm hoping this game is doing well enough that they will eventually bring those over because I really like this game. I don't know, I don't know how well it's doing on consoles, but uh, I like it a lot. So I hope it's doing well. 
There's this. There's a one called Synthetic Dawn, which allows you to play as like a uh, a machine species. Uh, there's a humanoid species pack, which is supposed to add some really good uh, music. I like the music in this game too, but the humanoid species pack on the PC is supposed to add some good music tracks. Uh, and then there's a thing called, I think it's called Apocalypse, which adds some more in-game events and mid-game events and things that, th things that can happen. But, uh, yeah, very cool game, I think. I must be enjoying it if I'm continuing on with this save w with my, <laughs> with my empire in this state, you know, like... Oh, a lot of people would probably say, all right, forget this. I'm going to start a new game. But I'm pressing on. The Kadeshi Star Imperium has declared Exedar Star Collective their rival. See, that's what I'm talking about. These guys were teamed up, and now they are rivals. Something is going to happen, and I'm probably going to be stuck in the middle in some way. Especially since I'm the vassal of these guys. And so <laughs> these people will probably just come straight over here and roll over me. Oh, no. This is not good. Will the Exedar rival them back? I don't even know if that is necessary, but I guess they might. Yep, they just rivaled them back. Oh boy, I think we're about to have another war. Perhaps I should build some ships to defend myself. Actually, what I should build is a construction ship and then build a military platform. Um... I think I will do that, but I think for now I'm going to go ahead and pause this game and we will pick it up in the next video and I will, unless I change my mind, I will probably build a construction ship and then build a defense platform of some sort and then I'll start thinking about building ships as well uh, just in case we're attacked. But for now, thanks for watching.